Yo, what's up, Leon? Good morning, Ice Cube, and thanks for joining us on Film Fame. How you doing? So we're here to talk to you about 21 Jump Street. Did you ever get a chance to watch 21 Jump Street when it was actually on the air in the late 80s? Uh, I saw a few episodes, um, and I thought it was a hot show. You know, I thought it had a good premise, um, but I was I was too busy running the streets. I, I wasn't I wasn't really into the TV show. Uh, but when right. I I heard they was doing a movie, I wanted to see how they was gonna flip, it, especially with with Jonah Hill involved. I wanted to see how they was gonna flip it, and they flipped this thing on his ear. You know, the the series was a drama. This is a high uh, crazy action comedy. So uh, it's totally different, but it's fun. Outstanding. So you were too busy out there running the streets to watch 21 Jump Street on TV in the late 80s. Do you recall any narcs actually visiting your high school? Oh, yeah, yeah. I seen them, you know. Uh, it was a trip because one day I was sitting in class and uh, I remember the counselor came and pulled a couple of my friends out of class because they had fell for the narc. They they didn't know that the dude was a narc. And then, you know, they got expelled because, you know, they had a little situation with the narc. So it was the narc like, break yourself, fool, when he revealed his true identity? I, I got with him and I was like, how y'all didn't know that dude was a narc, man? They they, they look old. You know what I mean? That dude got, <laughs> that dude got a, he, he shaved every day. You know what I'm saying? So... I remember that happening, uh, and yeah, yeah, a couple of my friends got expelled. <laughs> right, yeah. So your uh, character, Captain Dixon, seems to really give Jonah Hill the business. Uh, what did you use, or who did you use as inspiration and preparation for this role? You know, my real inspiration was, uh, I just thought about all the the detective shows and the, and the buddy cop shows that I've seen, you know, all the way back from Starsky and Hutch, you know, all the way to you know, to, to the present day, you always see this character and he's always mean and nasty. But my favorite one is, uh, the captain in Beverly Hills cop. You know, he was, he was on Eddie Murphy. You know what I mean? He was, he was giving him the business. So that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to give, uh, Jonah and Channing the business. And that's what I do. 21 Jump Street. Speaking of inspiration, I have to take a second to tell you this. I literally grew up on your music and your films. In fact, to this day, I own a gold 1963 Chevy Impala Super Sport convertible on juice, full chrome suspension, the whole nine yards. Thanks for the influence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One final question. We ask everybody this that we interview on Film Fame. If you could think of one movie that whenever it comes on, you just absolutely have to stop what's going on and watch that movie. What would that movie be? Oh, uh, man, I got to stop and watch Jaws. I got to stop and watch The Godfather. Oh, yeah, man. The Godfather, definitely love it. The horse head in the bed, one of the best scenes ever. Those are my movies that no matter what, I got to stop and watch. Uh, great movies, Do the Right Thing, uh, mm -hmm. Boys in the Hood. That's right. Yeah, you know, so it, it's some movies out there that just, that just grab me, you know, and I got to watch them all the way through. Ice Cube, it's been great having you on Film Theme. Why don't you tell your fans out there when they can catch 21 Jump Street at the theaters? The movie's released today. 21 Jump today. Street's in theaters today. Go check it out, man. Thanks for all those kind words. Uh, and, hey, everybody in the uh, STL, much love.